What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to fit a vertical towel rail. So first of all, I'm going to drain the heating down. I always put ball fixes onto my heating pipes and a little hose and it lets me drain the heating system down without any hassle. Next up, you're going to put the brackets in. There's four of them that come with the radiators and they go like this, a little screw through, pulls it together and that's what holds it onto the wall. So there's four of them. I normally do a couple of rungs up on each side just to make it easier. So now, this is actually easier if you've got two people, but you can still do this one-handed, but it is very difficult. Normally, I'd set it off the height of a toolbox, so you can put your box under and it actually balances the radiator. So I keep it roughly 10mm above the heating pipes coming out the wall, put my level on it, and I'll actually draw around the bottom two rungs first, and then drill them. And that allows it to keep it steady, and then you cannot, it makes it very near impossible to mess up the measurement of the radiator. So what you're going to do is stick your level on either on the left hand side or right hand side. Make sure it's plumb or level and then mark your bottom two brackets. As I'll show you, I just mark the wee circle and then what you do is you mark the center and you drill through. Pretty straightforward on this part. So what I'll do is I'll take the radiator bracket, the cover, and put it on top of the mark, and then I'll mark the slot. And what I do is I get my Milwaukee drill, or you can get your angle grinder for your diamond drill bit. I use the Onyx one 6mm with red plug, and just drill away. I also want to reiterate, it's good to have some mats down or a towel to just protect the floor. I'm actually being stupid here and not doing that, which I've just realised as I'm watching back the video. I should have had something down because it doesn't matter how careful you are, you can still make a mistake. Through the house 
highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on and on we'll go So what you can see us doing now is putting the radiator into the bottom two brackets and once it's in the brackets it's not moving so all you need to do is put the level on it again and then now mark your top two brackets and drill them how easy is that and it's on the wall that's you know my five minute video it's not taking us much longer than this to do it it's pretty easy and if it's not quite right it gives you a little bit of space like this to make a wee adjustment to lift the left hand side up to then make your brackets perfect and this is why it is pretty much impossible to actually mess this up if you do it this way And as you can see, I'm not struggling, I'm doing it one handed, I can let the radiator go if I want, it'll just stay in place. I'll mark my two holes, and then what I'm actually going to use on this is a little thing called plasterboard fixings called grippets. They can hold up to 100 kilograms, the brown ones, each. So all you do with these is make a little centre piece hole, like I'm doing now with a screwdriver and then you use, I think for these ones it's a 20mm speed bit or hole saw, you want to go just a little bit tighter than the grip it and then you pop it into the water, use the back of your screwdriver just to kind of we'll doof doof it in for the speed bits. like this, like that's a wee grip it there speed bit in And then what you do is with a little flat screwdriver, you poke the little flat screwdriver through it and you spin the centre bit because what happens is when you spin the wee crosses in the middle, it pops the wings out and that brings that's what tightens it onto the plasterboard is the two wings at the back. If you wanted some practice to check how it works, you could just take one out of the packet and twist it and it'll show you how it really works. I swear by these, they are amazing. But again, if you mess these up, like any plasterboard fixing really, if you mess it up, you're going to be in a wee bit of bother with the wall because you're going to have to repair it or put a wee bit of wood in to get the fixing better. So all you do now is it comes with like a little bolt or a screw, put a washer behind it, screw your brackets on and that's it done. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on now to connecting up the valves. I always put my ball fix, see 9 times out of 10 you can actually pull the rings on with a wee bit of grips. It's a great way for me to do it, so just don't tighten it too much, but tighten it enough that it won't leak and just pop the nuts off with a pair of grips. You can do this on most fittings if they haven't been ramped up, like any compression fitting and stuff like that. Like I'll show you here, pretty straightforward. Lefty, loosey, righty, tighty for anybody who's new and doesn't know much about compression fittings. Just open the bolly up, make sure there's no heat and water still in the system. I always use a black bag to catch the water because they're waterproof and they hold the water pretty well. These are rubble sacks with screw fix. 
disconnect it. You see how that wasn't too hard to untighten? Pop the nut back, get your grips again, and that ring will slide right off like a dream. There we go. To show you here, this is the little screw that comes with the grippets. Put a wee washer in, it stops it moving, and screw it on. Now this is us putting it on. What you're not going to want to do, you can do the top, they have like retaining screws that you screw through the bracket to stop it sliding out. Put the top two on and leave the bottom two, because the bottom two will allow you have a little play on the bottom brackets to allow you to get your TRV on. So that's the lock shield side in, basically it has, comes with a tail, PTFE it, screw it up in and put it on. Some people like to use JetBlue or PTFE tape, I feel like these don't need it and they tighten up pretty sweet because they're quite a good brand of valves. Normally I do the top nut, hand tighten the bottom, even hand tight to be honest, these are pretty decent fixings and you can get a good bit on it but you'll see more on the TRV side in a second to how that goes a wee bit better, you'll see me putting it on. I'll always put my tails that come out the wall into HEP 2 pipe because it allows the flexibility to me to pull it back and pull it forward to make sure that I'm getting the slip into the, the fitting into the radiator valve. It just seems to work a wee bit better for me. Not everybody does it this way, but this is the best way I find that it works. As you can see, our little tail's popping out and our tail's popping in. Pop it into your slip first, as you say, we keep it 10mm above the pipe. You can pull the radiator out, a wee bit of movement, and then all you have to do is just pop it up. I was just making sure the slip goes, changing the camera angle so you guys can see it a little bit better. <laughs> Trying to work my way out where the TRV is going. Like, pop it up to the top, lift it up, and then slide it in. I'm looking at this and I'm like, why am I struggling so much with this? Sometimes to make your life easier, if it is tight, take one of the nuts off. That'll allow you a wee bit more play. There we go, look, she's in. Look at that, that was quite a hard watch, if I'm going to be honest. But we're in. Boom. Again, JetBlue PTFE if you really need to, but I don't feel it needs it. A wee bit of peace of mind and just tighten it up. Always tighten the top one first and then the pipe coming through the wall or the floor is the way I always do it. And then what we'll do to give it a nice chrome finish is pop over the snap it covers. Clips in at the back, slides back, gives you a nice tight finish. Covers your big ugly hole and just gives the radiator the finish off that it needs.
this is the little retaining screws I was talking about earlier. They go underneath the brackets right in here. If you look close enough, you might see a little hole for it. And you just screw them through. Pretty straightforward. So guys, this is the towel rail fitted. If you liked the video, learned anything from it, hit that follow button, hit a like, and let me know what you think.